Hey guys, this is Renee and I've got a design team project for Mama's Treasures. So this right here is a box that I altered and what it is, oops, I'm going to show this in a different video. That is my new design team package from Rebecca, but this project, it honestly, this was supposed to be finished in March, um, but unfortunately March is a really hectic month for me, um, and I just, I got further behind than I intended to. I work, um, and <laughs> it's been pretty much full-time, even though it's supposed to be part-time. So I'm in school full-time, and I am working more or less full-time as well. So, um, and I had a lot of crazy, I had four large research projects due this month. Um, so, but now, all I have left is my exams, and I'm done school, sort of, until September, which is nice. So, I have this project done. It's a little bit late, Rebecca, so I'm sorry, but it's done now. I'm really happy with it, and I'm going to show you what I did to make it. So, first of all, um, this box here comes apart, so it's in two pieces. It's a little tight because of the papers I used. Now, I don't know if this box looks familiar to any of you. This is the inside of the box. You can't tell what it is because I've papered over it. And then I put stuff on the top. This box right here was the home for my Samsung Galaxy 5. So that's what used to be in this box. This is the Samsung Galaxy 5 box. And I always kept the box because it was so cute. It's just, it's a nice box. It's a nice, it's sturdy. And even before the stuff was put on it, it looked like a nice box. So, I'm just going to close this up now because it, we don't need it open. I altered it. So that was my project. Let me show you what I did. First of all, I, on, where is it now? <gasps> Oops. Um, well, there's not actually much of the paper left because it's been used. But it's this rooster paper that I had in my stash. Um, mm, I think I got this from Michael's and they were having, um, they had all their scrapbook papers thrown into this big bin. And they were like 10 cents a page. So I picked up a bunch. It has roosters on one side and chicken wire on the other. I used the chicken wire side for down here. And I used the rooster side for the top. So that was the paper. Then what I did was I used um, the Michaels version of Mod Podge to stick it to the box. And that stuff sticks really well. At least when it comes to paper. So I put that down. Then I put... Um, then I, I put this Lumiere, um, gold acrylic paint over it. It's like liquid paint. Um, it's light body metallic acrylic paint. Uh, the problem was I put a bit too much on and I didn't really like the way it looked first because it turned the entire cover yellow. Uh, actually before I put that on. I don't know if you could see it. You see those little white dots? Those are um, a stencil, and I put Mod Podge, or not Mod Podge, not Mod Podge, oh my god. Modeling paste on it. So that was that. Where's my time? Okay. Um, and that gives it a textured surface. And that is golden um, modeling paste. After I put the modeling paste on it, that's when I use this. There's also a little bit of, um, just around the edges, I had put some ge uh, gesso, but when I put the gold paint on top, it really just, it kind of got covered so you can't really see it. So I put this on, and then I wiped a lot of it off, um, and then what I did was I used this glue and seal. This is a matte, uh, matte sealer. I used that to, um, I put a coat on, and then I actually 
used a dry sponge brush and I wiped some of it off. And that helped remove some of the gold paint that I had put too much on. So that was that, and I liked the finish it got. Um, I like it. It looks distressed. This right here, you see this big flowery ribbon. But this right here is uh, from Rebecca's store. And that is the... Oh, one second. I'm trying to unlock my phone. Wait. It's hiding. It's the 6.5 inch. It's a 6.5 inch um, wide Venice trim. So what it's called is... Open up. It's a 6.5 wide Venice swag trim. I'm going to have these links posted in my description box. So then I also put on these roses here. These roses, there's two different sizes, two different colors. Um, you can see there's the brown ones here. Here. And these here. Now these have that same gold paint on them because they were just kind of white. And I didn't like that. So I put the... All I did was stick a sponge um, on the paint here and dab it onto the roses. So I used two different sizes and two different colors. Then, on the edge of the box, now, um, you can see there's a... Let me just block that light. It's making a bit too much of a glare, isn't it? Annoying. Hey, let me zoom in, and then we'll put the box down further. Okay. So this trim right here, that is... Um, it's a white lace trim that Rebecca sent me. I couldn't find it on her shop. Um, it wasn't something I had ordered or that was part of the design team. When I made an order from her, she just kind of put it in with the package. So uh, thank you for that, Rebecca. But I can't find that on her website anymore. It's just a little thin white ribbon. Um, and then I did use, and this is part of the design team package, this beautiful pale green um, acrylic gem trim. And this looks really cute on the box. And you can see it has a bit of sparkle there to it. So there was that. And that was it for Rebecca's um, products on this box. What I used then was this little Eiffel Tower from eBay. I got a bunch of those. And you guys, I'm, I'm serious, you should, you should check out eBay. Uh, oops, wrong way. Then I put on this little key. And these are more items I'd gotten from... Um, either eBay or they were a rack. I got a bunch of bronze items from eBay, but I also got some as a rack, and they're mixed together now, so I don't know what came from where. And there's another bronze charm here. This I got from, I think it's called Butter Bee Scraps. I got this a long time ago. It's a little butterfly applique. But then, I stuck a treble clef on the butterfly. And that I got from eBay. Then there's two more bronze keys here. And that pretty much finishes off the box. So that's what I used on the box. Now you can see this Venice trim here. This is only one part of a huge piece that you get. It's like... Let me zoom out. It's like this big. It's 6.5 inches wide. So there's all sorts of pieces that you can use from it. So that's that. There was another thing I made. I had originally intended to use it on the box, but it didn't really fit in. The colors didn't quite fit. So, what it is, is it's this super cute, it's a teapot stick pin. And you can get these little, I didn't, uh, the, this one is not from uh, Rebecca's store. But you see the little flower piece on top? Rebecca does have those in her store. So what I did was I put that on, I got these stick pins from, my, no, they're called color headed pins. They're, I don't know why they're called color headed because there's, there's, they're white. Um, and they come with round ones and tear shaped ones. And I got these at my dollar store. Um, not Dollarama, I got these at a local dollar store, local chain. So, the stick pin, I used one of those pins, then the little flower bead holder, then I used this gorgeous teapot frame, and that is from Rebecca's shop. Um, 
So I will have the link for this down below. These are really cute. They're really unique. And what I did was I stuck a bead into the into the frame and I threaded my stick pin through it and then I just put a closing bead at the bottom. Um, stick pins are a really good way to add a lot of interest to your project and they don't, they're not hard to make at all. So what I would have done if this had fit my colors is I would have poked it in here into the flowers kind of like that and then they just kind of stick up. So they do look really cute. It's just the, this, this one didn't match my project at the time. I will save this and I will use it in something else. So you can just make these, and you can also give these away as gifts, which is nice. So that is it for my design team project, uh, my delayed design team project for March. So guys, check out Rebecca's shop. She has gorgeous items, and her prices are very reasonable, and her shipping is very reasonable. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Um, keep tuned for the reveal of what is in this package right here. This is the design team package for April. And I can't wait to see what's in it, Rebecca, because I haven't opened it yet. You can see it's sealed, not opened. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.